All right, guys, I wasn't gonna do this video. I had another video plan that I've been editing all day, but the CMA Awards were tonight, and uh, I wasn't able to watch most of them live. I instead got to see the last, like, third of them live, and then I have caught up for the last hour on watching all the performances on YouTube, watching whatever acceptance speeches were posted on their Twitter, and, like, really, 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 really? Maybe that'll just be the title of this video. Really? And this video is not gonna have any edits, because I'm not gonna sit there and make, you know, a Grady professional edited nice video. Uh, let's talk about the very first thing there is to talk about the CMA Awards, and that is that Garth Brooks won Entertainer of the Year. Don't you feel stupid? Don't you feel like we were all buying into the narrative that it's going to be Carrie Underwood or Eric Church? Clearly, it was one of their two years to get the well-deserved win. They're touring powerhouses. They are, uh, you know, great performers, and they... Uh, have contributed so much to country music over the last decade. I personally would say that I really thought Eric Church deserved it, but it seemed like all the momentum was going to carry because, you know, this was the year that they were celebrating women at the CMAs. And then Garth Brooks wins? Garth Brooks wins Entertainer of the Year. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be shocked because Entertainer of the Year has become a touring award, basically. And, you know, I think it's misnamed. They should rename the award, like, biggest tour of the year. If it is just a numbers game and just about who puts on a bunch of big shows. Yeah, Garth does that. But I think Entertainer of the Year means the impact that you are having on the industry and how you kind of represent the whole genre. And to anyone uh, that is, like, a new country fan, a young country fan, or someone that's excited and likes being part of the scene, Garth Brooks is, is nothing but a big block of cheese at this point. And I, I like Garth. I don't think Dive Bar is good. I don't think a lot of his new music sounds good. But, like, it just isn't... It's, it's so unexciting to, to put him as the entertainer of the year. And he kind of lacks some self-awareness when he went up for his speech. I feel like... I don't know. He just thang, he just complimented... Maybe he was just speaking from the heart. And that's fine. He complimented Kelsey Ballerini and Luke Combs. And I kind of felt... I felt a little bad for Carrie Underwood and Eric Church. You know? I don't feel bad for Keith Urban. I'm very glad Keith Urban didn't win. That would have made me even more angry than Garth winning. But yeah, it just did kind of suck. I really thought this was Eric's year. And, and you know, speaking of things not being Eric's year, he didn't win album of the year either. I mean, when I got on my computer and I looked at who'd won awards tonight, I was shocked that Desperate Man didn't win album of the year. I mean, to me, that was a gimme in that category. You had Marin Morris and Danny Shea and Thomas Rhett and something by someone else that I don't even remember. And Girl by Marin Morris won? Man, I've not been going back to that record at all. I think it's extremely, it's just a pop record. But, like, it, there's not even that much memorable on it. Maybe The Bones and maybe All My Favorite People. There's a couple songs I like on it, but that album is not an album of the year to me. So I thought that win was pretty whack. What other, what other categories were there? Let me just pull them up really quick. Uh, male Vocalist of the Year went to Luke Combs, and he also won Song of the Year for Beautiful Crazy, and that was cool to see. I mean, Luke Combs has arrived. His performance, you know, everyone was saying, Luke, afterwards, and people thought they were saying boo, but everyone loves Luke Combs, and, and we've talked a lot about him a lot on the channel, but I, I, I think it was cool to see Wyatt Durrett get to accept for Beautiful Crazy. That was kind of cool. Because Wyatt Durrett, you know, he's famously the writer on Highway 20 Ride and a bunch of other songs. And it's kind of cool that ever since he's not really working with Zach Brown anymore, to get to see him up on stage, that made me happy. Um, and Luke's going to be around. Luke's going to win Entertainer of the Year in like a year or two. Uh, what else? What other awards were given out? I was pretty surprised that Casey Musgraves won Female Vocalist of the Year. Because I kind of expected Casey Musgraves to be one of those people that would win for her work but wouldn't win as an individual because a lot of people don't speak very highly of Casey Musgraves or she seems to have a chip on her shoulder or she seems too Hollywood for country music. And I don't know, maybe sitting with Gigi Hadid and Reese Witherspoon and Nicole Kidman doesn't undo that. But I was, I really think like Casey, Casey is in a broad sense, kind of the biggest female star in country music at the moment, maybe not on country radio, but in country music. And I think it was actually really cool to see her win. Um, I still can't believe Girl by Maren Morris won Album of the Year. That's crazy to me. Um, a lot of other awards weren't very surprising to see. 
you know, Old Dominion win again. They've been an awards favorite for a while now. Um, new artist of the year. I was like, there's one big thing that I'm not talking about. New artist of the year. Uh, that went to Ashley McBride. And I thought this category was really awesome. It had like Morgan Wallen, Cody Johnson. It had, who else? Midland. I really would have been happy with anyone winning in this category. But I'm so pumped that it was Ashley McBride. I thought she gave the best speech um, of the speeches that I watched tonight. She said that John Prine told her she was good. Not as good as Reba, but, but good. And I think Ashley McBride is a badass that... Is her album Girl Going Nowhere is awesome. Her new song One Night Standards is awesome. She's got such conviction in her voice when she performs. I believe her. Um, I thought her speech was classy. She said thank you to the people that helped me get here. And she said she said something at the end that was interesting. Thanks for giving me a chance to step up. And I didn't know if that was in reference to what she said John Prine told her, um, or if it was a little bit of a jab at the guy who ran the Grammys that told women they need to step up. Thought that was kind of badass of her. And then, uh, I don't know, what else happened? Single of the year, I think, went to God's Country. That's a pretty... I, I like God's Country, and I think it makes sense for Single of the Year because that's really a production award, and I think the kind of gothic sound of God's Country is really cool. And then I just want to talk a little bit about performances. Uh, the whole thing opened with a medley, kind of all the women of country, and I didn't get to see the monologue for the record. I know this year we didn't have Brad Paisley hosting, um, which was a bummer. I didn't get to hear how the monologue was on Twitter. You guys weren't especially kind to it. Um, but it was Dolly, Reba, and Carrie Underwood hosting. And they started off with a kind of Pam Tillis song. They sang a song by Loretta Lynn with Jennifer Nettles and Little Big Town. The High Women did a tribute to Tammy Wynette. Tanya Tucker came out and sang Delta Dawn. That was awesome. Redneck Woman, that was probably my favorite moment of the medley when uh, Gretchen, Gretchen Wilson came out and sang Redneck Woman and it cut to Carly Pierce in the crowd jamming along. That was very, very fun. Crystal Gale, Terry Clark, Sarah Evans came out and sang. Martina McBride. It, I thought it was cool. I thought like that was a, a, a really fun moment that that was an opening. So good on them for that. I, I liked that. Uh, other big performances of the night included Eric Church's and he was singing with Jeff Hyde actually up on stage. He sang some of it. And I liked it. I really, really liked it. It was kind of... I, I like how Eric Church switches up his delivery so much. Although, if you weren't familiar with the melody of some of it, sometimes you'd wonder, why is this so free with the rhythm? But that's what Eric Church does. He just gets up on stage and he sings. And I liked that a lot. Um, and that's another freaking reason why he should have won Entertainer of the Year. The Double Down Tour? Are you kidding? Eric Church plays for three hours, back-to-back -back nights in the same cities. Is this huge stunt? And I just feel like, what does Eric Church have to do? I guess shake all the right hands at radio and just be a good old boy in the industry. Or, or uh, I don't know. I know Garth, I'm not saying Garth's a bad performer. But how are you going to play dive bar like a big old cheese ball? He's so cheesy. You're, he's going to sing Dive Bar, that crap. He's, like, the single's fine. The single's fine. But I just can't believe Garth beat Eric. And Carrie. I mean, what a bummer for Carrie. I feel like Carrie, geez, to not even get female vocalist of the year. I, I do understand where people are coming from when they think that Carrie kind of deserves this Entertainer of the Year award. They're like, if this is about representing country music, I mean, you're the Sunday Night Football girl. You're playing these big sold out arena tour shows. Your album, I mean, her album did sell really well. No one's getting pure album sales like Carrie Underwood is getting right now. So I see where they're coming from too. She's got all these big singles. I'd be pissed if I were a Carrie Underwood fan. So I get that. Um, anyway, other performances. Eric Church's was good. I thought Reba singing Fancy, that performance was kind of weird. It was like a one woman show. Her just up on stage. Uh, I thought her acting was amazing in it, actually. It really showed me how great of a performer Reba is. And I loved just the double costume change that happened when there was a dress underneath it and then there was pants underneath it. Kind of a, a story of woman's liberation throughout her outfits. And I thought she did an awesome job. But Fancy, I feel like, has performed at every other country awards show these days. Halsey and Lady Antebellum were fine. 
Halsey has the kind of indie girl voice that I kind of can't stand sometimes where it just seems like she switches like the pronunciation of vowels with other vowels for fun. I don't really, I'm not so into that. Uh, Brooks, Brooks and Dunn and Brothers Osborne sang a song together. They sang Hard Working Man. And it was a nice kind of rock moment in the scheme of the other performances. So I actually really enjoyed that quite a bit. Kelsey Ballerini did a really subdued performance of Homecoming Queen. And whenever Kelsey Ballerini strips it back, I always really like her. Uh, it's usually just then that she switches it around and does some like glitzy choreographed performance for the next one. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. You're still kind of playing this interesting pop tart role um even with these two singles homecoming queen and then the club uh i don't i don't really get her sometimes uh oh i really 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 loved the pink and chris stapleton performance i mean normally i'm not a huge fan of using precious airtime on a pop star but pink played her single and damn if that song Love Me Anyway with Chris Stapleton coming in and all the harmonies, if that wasn't the performance moment of the night, I don't know what was. I mean, that that song sounded beautiful. You could even see when Chris Stapleton was kind of growling in the background. At one point, Pink kind of like got the got the willies or something because she she was moved by how good his vocal was. So I thought that was really awesome. And, and there it just was such a, it just stood out. You know, even, like, I love Luke, but his performance of Beer Never Broke My Heart, eh, Miranda Lambert singing uh, It All Comes Out in the Wash, it just felt sort of silly and overproduced. Also, you can't make a whole song about a washing machine and then it just be set at a car wash, you know? I didn't think that worked. I didn't like the big set piece of a car wash behind them. Um, and honestly, guys, those are my main thoughts on the CMA Awards. I know that... Lil Nas X and Billy Ray Cyrus won Vocal Event of the Year for Old Town Road. I think that's pretty stupid. I mean, I just don't think it's a country song at the end of the day. And see, I'm stopping because I, this is normally where I'd stop and collect my thoughts and say something smart and articulate. But we're not going to do that in this video. I promised myself I wouldn't edit this because there's way too much to do. I'm headed home for a day. And then I'm traveling all weekend and then we're going to have a hot takes video up. And these are all my thoughts on the CMA awards. I cannot believe Garth won. I cannot believe Garth won. I'm sorry, Eric Church fans and Carrie Underwood fans. Maybe they should just collaborate together. Maybe they should make a single together. Oh, one other thing I need to talk about. Willie Nelson, Casey Musgraves. They performed together. It was sad to see Willie kind of in the state that he was in. I think Willie was struggling he's 86 he was having tr trouble keeping his breath he was having trouble hitting the notes and they sang rainbow connection with a little bit of casey musgraves rainbow at the end and i love their relationship i mean i think one of K casey musgraves coolest things she's ever done in her career was to uh sing are you sure and make this gorgeous music video with him so i, I really liked seeing them perform together and willie was even going for the harmonies even when he could barely keep up with her so it was sweet. I, I honestly don't know if we're going to ever see Willie Nelson on stage again. So I'm glad that I'm glad that we got to have that moment, to be honest. And that's all I have like scrawled on the little papers in front of me. I know this is kind of half-assed. There's some things that weren't available. Like I couldn't see the Chris Christopherson tribute with Dirks and Sheryl Crow, but I really like them both. I'm sure it was great. Um, and I couldn't see the monologue and, and a few other things like that. I watched a few acceptance speeches, but nothing to really write home about. Oh, Maren Morris performed. Whatever. Um, I think she has she has pipes. And I think that performance was pretty good. I just don't think Girl is... I just don't think Girl is that good of a song. The way it gets revered sometimes. But those are my thoughts. That was the CMAs. I think this is good. I talked this out. I feel a little calmer. But like, where are the bodies, Garth? Where are the bodies? Thank you.